Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're here to do a Let's Talk About It and it's why I love WWE. Done this for AEW last week on the back of the what well, Let's Talk About It, the problems with AEW and then also the problems with WWE. I've deep down, dig down somewhat deeply to find something that I can say that I love about WWE. Now it wasn't too hard to find it but uh, yeah. Before we get into the show guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell and go to those beautiful comments below and let me know what you love about WWE. Just one thing, if you can think, think of one. <laughs> so here is the things that I like about it. The talent. They have the best talent in the world at the minute. Um, people can moan about them, bitch about them, whatever. They do have the best wrestling talent because that's where people want to go. People want to be. You have your Brock Lesnar's, Roman Reigns, Edge, Damian Priest, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Nikki Cross, Dewdrop, or Piper Niven, whatever you want to call her, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus. You know, we can go through all these lists of people and it's just... it. There's, there's no really an endless, um, there's an endless amount of talent in WWE. That's the same with AEW as well, which makes this little thing that they have very interesting. But it is an endless amount of talent there. The other thing is, I want to say is, their pay-per-views, right? I know I said this was a negative last week, the 12 months pay-per-views. And no that they having anything through it. Kind of being the big four and then just like larger shows it feels like. I enjoy having a pay-per-view every month. I enjoy having something to, to review for you guys. I enjoy having something to look forward to as well. And some direction for the story, because like AEW, they have long-term story, but sometimes it feels like it's just looping around like a little bit. When it's starting, it's good. It goes up and then it just loops. But it's cool to see where they end up, where, where they end up for AEW. For WWE, it is feel more short-term boom, but that's their style. And I do really enjoy having a monthly pay-per-view. I've had a monthly pay-per-view my whole life that I remember watching wrestling. There's been 12 pay-per-views. Um, so it's not really... I wouldn't like to see that change. They've got insanely talented wrestlers there as well. Like for the minute, Damien Priest is one of the guys that I think is amazing at the minute. And he really is just doing great work. You've got Sheamus, Drew McIntyre... We need to talk about how good Roman Reigns is at the minute. He's just putting on fantastic shows. Cool. I know people are getting bored of him and the heel gimmick and that kind of shit. I love it. I've always kind of liked Roman Reigns. I think this is probably his best work of his career. And I don't want to see it end anytime soon. Why? Who are you going to give the belt to? Nobody else can take the belt from him. Do you know what I mean? But then, obviously, we've got... As much as the fucking stupid decisions they make on a weekly basis, right? As much as I moan about Raw and stuff, I watch it because I love the product. I love professional wrestling. Everything about it. I've watched shows with nobody in the crowd, you know what I mean? Like, when we were during COVID and also before COVID when nobody turned up and it was just me at small independent shows. I've watched this. I love this sport weird professional wrestling stuff, WWE's take on it might not be for me, but you look at their, the other thing is I love about them is their network, they've got so much on the WWE network, I know obviously Peacock in America and stuff and the network here in the UK, for me especially, for some reason just messes up always on my, <laughs> anywhere I watch it, it just buffers, there's literally nothing wrong with my internet and it just buffers, but when it works, it's amazing. You, I can go watch Roddy Piper versus Bret Hart at WrestleMania whenever I want. I can go watch Lou Fez. I can go watch the, the all WCW Nitros. Do you know what I mean? I can go watch Thunders. I can WCW pay per views. ECW, the ICW from from Scotland. You've got Progress Wrestling as well. You've got the Independence. You've got NXT, which maybe isn't the best at the minute example, but I can go watch the old stuff that I enjoyed better. I've got NXT UK. I've got all this stuff that I can go watch, and they've made wrestling accessible to everybody for nine ninety nine a month. You know, I mean, it's not really that much. And they've made it accessible for every single person. You, everybody knows who WWE is. Everybody can go watch a match and probably enjoy it, depending on what it is. 
You can go back and watch those glorious Attitude Era days, the Monday Night Wars. You can go watch the Ruthless Aggression Era. You can watch whatever you want on the network. And that's something that I love about WWE. And it's been vital to being able to do watch-alongs as well. Do you know what I mean? Going back and watching these old pay-per-views has really helped me create some content for this. And, and doing the, the retro Monday Night War reviews as well. It's, it's insane like, how much cool stuff... WWE has on that network, I mean the documentaries are good and you can go watch Undertaker's first matches in WCW all the way to when he went to um, WWE, WWF and all the way through to his last match against AJ and just watch everything, you can watch Bret Hart, you can, whatever you want and I think that is fantastic, especially, especially given just how much stuff that's there, do you know what I mean, like you can go watch like a random Nitro and see... Sting versus Bret Hart on a random... I mean, you wouldn't be able to do that. We, before YouTube and stuff like that, we wouldn't have gone back and watched it unless somebody had a tape of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't a, When I was a kid, I, I, I couldn't go back and watch it. It was just... They didn't really sell it. It was best matches, and if that didn't qualify, it didn't go in. But I love that about WWE, being able to give all that stuff, all, all that information, all the, the, the shows and everything, and obviously they've changed some things, might have changed music or whatever. But... It's still cool for what it is. I still enjoy it. And the women's division in WWE is fantastic. I know a lot of people say that it's known, whatever, and you have bitches about the tag team titles and the way it's booked and whatever. I think it's fantastic. You've got great fucking women in that company that are really becoming... Like, you've got Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Nikki Cross, even Liv Morgan and Carmella. And you've got all these... Different styles of women, you've got the great wrestling women, you've got the women that look good, that are still good in the ring but might not be the best, like might not be a Charlotte Flair level, but they're still there. This thing is fantastic. The same on the men's side as well, you've got a spectrum of guys as well. As much as I bitch about it, I, I still love WWE. Um, I remember when it was fantastic back in the old days, when I was younger, I remember it being good and I remember around about that 2010, 11-ish 12, 11, 12 ish period, just falling out of love with it completely, and then coming back to it in 2014, 13, 14, and just being amazed by how cool wrestling still is. And I know people might not think it's cool, might not think WWE is cool, might not be mainstream, may like to bitch about it. I like it. Do you know what I mean? I, I'll moan about it till I'm blue in the face, but I'll still watch it because I love the product. And that can that's the thing as well. I care so much about this sport. I love wrestling so much. I'm going to bitch about any promotion. And it's not just one side or the other. Both people do things wrong. AEW, WWE, whatever, MLW, Impact Wrestling. They all do things wrong. You can't get it right all the time. But when it, wrestling's right, when it's good, when the stars align, there's a fantastic match and it goes into history as great. And that's what I love about wrestling. Those moments... And that's why I love about WWE as well. And I was telling a kind of a rant about why I love wrestling, but WWE kind of is wrestling. That's what we need to face. I think they need. To, I think hiring writers that don't really have a background in wrestling and stuff like that is, is there's some that have background in wrestling and there's some that have no clue about it, and they just it's just no marrying together. So we just kind of need. They, they need to obviously work on that, but they are making a ton of money, and they are still putting on some good matches. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments below what's one thing that you love about WWE and I'll see you back here tomorrow. See you later.